So, um, I'm just uh, waking up, getting moving. Well, actually, I've been up for a few hours. I woke up at like 5.30 and washed and made prayer and all of that. Um, but it's now about 9 a.m. And I'm thinking at probably like around 6.30, 7 a.m., somebody woke up in my neighborhood and had the idea to go outside and shoot their gun at the sky or whatever. And, you know, a few hours have passed and they're back out there doing it again. And, you know, I'm just like, look, uh, brother, I don't have a problem with you doing your thing. But I mean, it's Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Like, I, you know, give thanks. <laughs> I guess that's how you give it thanks right now. Just understand, I mean, I don't know. My personal beliefs are that there are certain, I'll just say Minister Louis Farrakhan Muhammad is here on the scene and he has been encouraging us to do better and to embrace peaceful lifestyles and one another and learn about ourselves and unite to fight a common enemy of us all. I believe that his work has created a covering for us all on this planet. And, and that covering is receding, you know, as he removes his presence. And I think that with that departure, the covering of God's grace will also depart and we'll be on our own to sink or swim or whatever it is that we're going to do. And our job here on this planet is to create a heaven for our God so that he can come and be with us. My personal belief is that we need to put down the guns and come together and learn what we need to learn, learn to love and embrace one another. Because too often, and I'm talking to Black people specifically, too often our guns are aimed at each other and our neighbors and not at the enemy. And I'm just like, the facade is that I'm tough, I'm a man, I'm hard, you know, um, you haters can't kill me. But I'm just like, none of you are aiming your guns at the real hater, the hater of us all, the enemy of us all. Stand up and rise up against him. And if you want to bust your guns at him, that's cool. I'm not encouraging that. What I'm encouraging is that we learn to love one another and that we embrace one another and i'm talking to you black people embrace us accept your own and be yourself as a most honorable elijah muhammad taught us and i believe that this is good teaching i don't even believe that any right thinking person including open-minded whites I believe that there are some good intention whites out there and it may be hard to accept that Minister Farrakhan Muhammad and Elijah Muhammad and Master Farah Muhammad who taught that the white man is the devil and taught about the nature of the white man. Um, you know, that's hard to listen to if you're white. I'm sure it's hard to listen to even if you're black. Um, but they didn't do it to teach us to hate white people. They taught that because it's the truth. And in that truth is something that we learn about ourselves. Because before white people were here, there was a devil. And that devil was in us. <laughs> so, again, we have to come together, master ourselves, and learn to love. And and I think that this is important for us to begin to embrace that type of mentality as we 
begin to come together and reassemble the traditional village and raise our young ones, because it does take a village to raise a child. I'll just, I'll greet you with peace. Love excels all, you know what it is. Like, share, you know, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Um, you know, you don't have to agree with me. Um, but at the end of the day, I don't think that there are too many who will disagree with the importance of us loving one another and coming together. And I believe that the entire human family would benefit from this type of mentality, but it needs to begin with each and every one of us. Peace, love. You know what it is every time. Subscribe if you haven't hit that button.